Good morning, I'm John Ellsworth with Success Strategies. I am the creator of the Success Strategies Advantage and the founder of Success Strategies Incorporated. And today I'd like to talk to you about why not follow your dreams. Are there any dreams in your life, in your business, or in your personal life for that matter, that you've avoided? Do you ever find yourself just accepting things that life sends your way? Uh, it kind of reminds me of the song by Huey Lewis in the news. Uh, it goes something like, I'm taking what they're given because I'm working for a living. Uh, I think we've all find times like that in our lives. But wait, I want you to do something different. I want you to do something that has occasionally gotten me in trouble with former employers and things like that. Not in a real negative sense, but just a challenging the system, if you will that I was noted to do occasionally. Instead of asking the question, why? I oftentimes found myself asking, why not? Why don't we try this? You know, if you remember the, the movie Pretty Woman, where the gentleman was standing out in the street welcoming people to Hollywood, he said, welcome to Hollywood, and what did he say? What's your dream? He didn't say, welcome to Hollywood, don't plan on doing anything different. He said, welcome to Hollywood. What's your dream? I think that's imperative to think about. And what I want to suggest to you today is a question. Do you have a dream? Do you have a dream business that you've thought about, that you'd like to operate, uh, that you'd like to develop? Something different. Maybe something off the wall compared to what other people have done in your industry. How about a dream career? If you're not going to start your own business, what's your dream career? I think it's important that you, that you have a dream and that you focus on it. Why not follow your dreams, as I said earlier? A, a good friend of mine and a great motivational speaker, Les Brown, I love listening to him. He says a career is something you love so much you would do it for nothing. But what you do so well, people will pay you to do it. I think that's pretty exciting. Um, when you pursue this dream, it's not going to be all roses along the way, I can assure you. Will there be challenges? I think without a doubt the answer to that question is yes. But you know what? It'll all be worthwhile. Will there be difficulties? Will there be disappointments? No doubt. There probably will be. But as my business coach Brendan Burchard states, and, and I quote him on this, I think it's a wonderful statement. He said, you have to honor the struggle. You will figure it out. You just have to honor the struggle. Not get so frustrated with it. You just go, ah, I'm not going to do this anymore. On the contrary, as Brendan says, honor the struggle. You will figure it out. Here's a couple key points for you, though. Number one, you have to know what you want. If it's not clear in your mind, it's, it's hard to hit that that goal or that objective, that target, if you're not, if you haven't clearly defined it. So number one, know what you want. Know specifically what you want. Number two, clearly, clearly, clearly define it in your own mind. When you visualize it ahead of time, it helps a lot. You need to know where you're going to, um, to get there, to get specifically where you want to end up and not end up off target. Um, and number three, you've heard me say this before in other videos, commit it to paper. It is absolutely crucial that you get it written down because then it implants in your mind and it forces you to go through the specific steps. As I've said in my previous video, um, and probably numerous other times too, so forgive me if you're tired of hearing this, but I think it's crucial that you know this. You've got to identify all the obstacles. You need to think about how to overcome those obstacles because, <clears throat> because, excuse me, because it's imperative that you think it through. Just the process of thinking it through oftentimes will get you to the Captain Obvious answer that you need, that next step you need to take to move forward. And then build a plan for your progress. But above all else, I would suggest that you follow your dream. I can think of numerous clients that I've worked with who all had different challenges, 
but some diversified, some expanded, some went into a niche market and pursued that. But the key is, in all three cases, um, they found, had one common element. One common element. And that is that they followed their dream and they built a plan to get there. And I want to be the one to tell you today that you can do it too. Again, I'm John Ellsworth with Success Strategies. I will be out here cheering for you. And if I can assist you, please do check out our website. And if you need some assistance with developing your dream, developing your plan, I want to offer you a, um, a tool that's at our website. If you follow this link, you will be able to get to it directly. And again, I thank you for listening today. So feel free to check in at uh, successstrategies.com. Uh, follow the financial techniques slash strategic game plan series. And I think you'll find this a very useful tool in developing your plan uh, for your life objective. Thank you for tuning in today.